Wondering how to get traffic from Pinterest with Pinterest ads? In this Pinterest ads tutorial, you'll learn how to use Pinterest ads or Pinterest promoted pins to make money on Pinterest. So let's get right into this Pinterest marketing tutorial on Pinterest strategy on how to run Pinterest ads and optimize your Pinterest ads. In order to get traffic from Pinterest with Pinterest ads, you need a Pinterest business account. If you have a personal Pinterest account or don't have a Pinterest account yet, you can create a new Pinterest account with a different email address, which is a Pinterest business account. If you wish to convert your personal Pinterest account into a business account, you can do so under account changes in your account settings. Once you've set up your Pinterest business account, you can start creating Pinterest ads. To do so, in your Pinterest account, click on Ads from the menu up top and then on Create Ad. The first time you access Ads Manager, you'll be asked to select your country. This will determine your billing currency and you won't be able to edit this later. There are a number of campaign objectives that you can set for your Pinterest ad. Your campaign objective determines how you bid in the ad auction and what ad formats are available to promote. Choose the campaign objective that best reflects your business goals. This can be brand awareness, where you help people discover your brand, products, and other services. Video views, where you promote videos to help people discover your brand or drive actions. Consideration, formerly traffic, where you get more people to click your ad on Pinterest. Conversions, where you drive people to take actions on your website, or catalog sales, where you promote your product inventory with shopping ads. Since our aim is to get traffic from Pinterest with Pinterest ads, I'll select Consideration. Now let's enter our campaign details. For our Pinterest ad, including the campaign name, which I'll leave as is, and campaign status where you can select between active, where your ads can be served, or paused, which is where your ads cannot be served. I'll go ahead and select active. The campaign budgets for the consideration formerly traffic objective is now budgeted at the campaign level. Simply enter a campaign budget and Pinterest will distribute that budget across all ad groups. I'll show you how to create a Pinterest ad group in a little bit. Your Pinterest ad campaign budget can either be daily, where you set a daily spend limit, or lifetime, where you set a lifetime spend limit. I'll select a daily campaign budget type with a daily spend limit of $5. You can also select your Pinterest campaign schedule to run continuously or to run on specific dates. I'll go ahead and select Run on Specific Dates and select a Pinterest ad campaign start and end date and then click on Continue. Since you haven't set up a Pinterest ad group yet, Pinterest will redirect you to the Create New Ad Groups section. This is where you can create ad groups for single ads or multiple ads that have the same targeting and bidding. Edit your Pinterest ad group name and then select your target details strategy. Either reconnect with users, where you retarget people who have already interacted with your brand, find new customers, where you prospect people who haven't interacted with your brand, or choose your own, where you make targeting selections for this ad group without guidance, which isn't recommended. For this Pinterest ad, I'll click on Select next to Reconnect with Users. This will take you to the Audience Lists section of your Pinterest ad, where you can add an audience list to most effectively retarget people who've interacted with your brand. This can be Site Visitors, where you retarget visitors who went to your site, Engagement, where you retarget users engaging with pins from your claim domain, Customer List, where you retarget pinners from a list of your customers that you upload, or you can create a new audience list yourself. Since we want to get traffic from Pinterest with Pinterest ads, I'll click on Use Existing List 
Next is Site Visitors. If you so wish, you can also edit to include, exclude, or remove an audience list from your targeting details. Because our targeting strategy for Pinterest ad is to reconnect with users, the interests and keywords section is locked. Since Pinterest doesn't recommend using interests and keywords for advertisers looking to retarget users. Even so, feel free to click on this Enable Interests and Keywords box to use them, as well as to enable expanded targeting. Pick topics related to your brand so you can reach people based on other pins they engage with, as well as relevant keywords to increase Pinterest ad impressions in search results and related pins. For best results, use a minimum of 25 keywords. Since Pinterest doesn't recommend adding interests and keywords, I'll go ahead and turn this section off. Once you've added your audience lists, you can then click on the downward pointing arrow next to Demographics to select the gender, all genders or pick specific gender, age, all ages or pick specific ages, location, all US locations, or pick specific locations, languages, all languages or pick specific languages, and devices, all devices or pick specific devices, of those you want to target with your Pinterest ad. You can also click on the downward pointing arrow next to placement to specify where you'd like your ads to appear on Pinterest, including all, browse, or search. Once you've finished setting up your Pinterest ad targeting details, it's time to set your budget and schedule, including your campaign budget and campaign duration. As you can see, these are the exact numbers and dates we set when creating a new Pinterest ad campaign. Once you've verified that, set your Pinterest ad's optimization and delivery. Either automatic, which is recommended, where Pinterest aims to get the most pin clicks for your budget, or custom, where you control how much to bid at auction. After you're done adding your Pinterest ad group details, it's time to select the Pinterest pin or pins you want to drive more traffic to with Pinterest ads. You can also click to create a new pin for your campaign without leaving the campaign creation page. If you wish to target more than one ad group, feel free to click on New Ad Group on the left-hand side and set it up just like we did just now. You can also duplicate the ad group you just created if you wish to keep all the parameters the same and change just one thing, such as the location or age group. Once you've finished setting everything up in your Pinterest ad, click on Publish on the bottom left-hand side to launch your Pinterest ad. For more details on how to use Pinterest to its fullest extent, make sure to check out Pinterest Popular to learn how to get more traffic, subscribers, and sales for free with Pinterest. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. If you're serious about making the most out of your Pinterest ads, make sure to check out our Pinterest Tutorials playlist for even more Pinterest tips and tricks as well as our free spreadsheet with the top Pinterest group boards that you should join to make the most out of your Pinterest marketing efforts. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'll be creating Pinterest promoted pins. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can navigate the tech side of online business with ease and stay tuned for our next video, which is about how to create a webinar funnel that gets you more registrants, attendees, and sales. As you wait for our next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.